Hi, this is Corliss Blakely, and I've done a watercolor today, and I wanted to show you a little bit about it. I used Daniel Smith, and I used five colors. These are the colors I used, and this is my palette, you'll see. And I did speed it up the video, so it's going to be a little confusing, but just watch. Anyways, what I do is I just lightly put in a line where I'm going to be painting, and I'm using a Crescent watercolor board for this uh, video on uh, a 300 pound it's acid free and I'm adding in quite a bit of water for the sky and the sky is cobalt blue and raw umber while the um, background is wet I'm adding in some of the colors and I'm doing it really quickly because I want to keep it all nice and wet and muted And I'm introducing different colors as I go forward. You can see my palette started out and in the end it'll be all totally colored up. Here I am trying to add some trees in the background, keeping it really wet. Adding some purple. And as you see, I keep adding some water to soften my edges. Uh, this is a cold pressed paper and it's a board and so it, it kind of dries a little bit quicker than my other papers that I've been using. At this point, I'm just putting in the tree line. Um, I really never have an idea what I'm going to be painting and it just kind of flows. It's one thing with watercolor. Just watch and see what happens. Um, it's pretty amazing. When you're doing an oil it's much more structured and with the watercolor you really have to let yourself go and just watch and see what happens when the pigment hits the paper. Now what I'm doing is just kind of adding in where the water is going to be. In the last video, unfortunately, some of the video was stopped, and so this time you're going to get to see the whole water being put in. I apologize for that last video. Using the same blue that I used in the sky and uh, using a lot of water, just kind of roughing it in and it will be changing throughout the painting. Now I want to try to add some trees in the background and as you can see my sky has totally dried and so now I'll be able to put more detail in. So the closer I come, of course I'm adding a deeper colors so you get the feeling that you're looking at something more close up than way in the background. And every time I'm adding, I'm always hitting it with a little bit of water to diffuse it into the paper. Now I'm using a different brush just to get the trees in the background and using the same sky uh, color that I was in the sky and now adding a little bit a deeper color. This is just to get the idea of where I want the trees. Normally I sweep upward when I'm doing this with this brush, but I'm going downward at the moment because the palette's in my way. I'll be moving the palette, you'll see in a few minutes, and then I will be brushing my brush strokes up. Adding a little bit of red, getting in some color, some raw umber.
you can see that I'm adding a lot more detail right now. And I'll be adding the tops of the trees very soon. This is where I was mentioned that I was sweeping up from the bottom to the top so I can get all the tree tops in. So much easier to paint this way. When I'm painting, I move around the painting a lot. I've noticed watching this video, it's, I, I never stay on one spot too long. Now I'm putting in a little bit of the raw sienna. Getting in some weeds, making it look a little bit more like a Vermont landscape. Every day in Vermont it changes when it starts to snow and you everything gets covered and then after a few days everything starts to show through again. I'm adding some more water to the brook. And I'll start adding the reflections, deepening it up with a little bit more cobalt blue. Now I'm starting to put in the reflections and using the same color as above. water is really wet so I'm still getting a nice reflection and I'll be adding water all the time. Bring in some shadows. Blending that in with some water. I think what it is when you're doing a, a watercolor, it's so much fun just to watch and see what happens. Um, like right now, I'm not even sure what I'm going to be doing, but I just keep adding in more detail. Putting in the weeds, bringing in the reflections. Bringing in a little bit more color. One thing about the watercolor board, it's really nice. You can really overlay a lot of colors. I'm adding in quite a bit of color in the, in the foreground with the weeds coming in. because They're right on the edge of the water. adding in some reds just to highlight and then I'll be adding 
the branches above after I've got in the reflections. I'm kind of rushing at the moment because um, my iPhone is running out of battery and so I want to make sure that I get this whole thing and so you'll see that I'm kind of rushing through this at the last minute. And I'm going to be adding the branches up above. A lot of fun doing this painting. This is just a quick painting just to demonstrate reflections and how I go about painting a winter landscape with watercolor. And I'm almost done. And one thing I'm going to do is Make sure that I sign it. And then I'm just going to be showing you the two brushes or the four brushes that I used. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Bye now.